Okay, so there's another rented combine at the dealer. Someone can go grab a truck, one header, I guess. I don't know. Why don't you just get in the truck? Because I'm already almost to the shop with the other combine. And we'll just pull our heads there. Literally, I am just passing the road to go to the dairy farm. Driving down the middle of the road. Well, at least everything's good. So. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It must be like the decimal place is like off or something in that bank lot. I don't know. It's like 20,000 every day. And it should be 2,000. Hold my ladder. Alright, Josie, where are you at? I'm in a grain cart. You're running combine with me. Mike's got cart duty. I was going to get a header. Why? Well, I don't know. The truck was don't. there and I ended up in the truck. No, don't come up here. We have both headers up to the combines. What's, okay, what am I missing here? You guys, you know. Take the pickup back, grab your, or start hauling semis over to 16. We don't. We only need one truck over there. It's just beans. Yeah, good yielding beans. Eh, you don't know that. What's the nutrients on them? Same as a, a week ago. <laughs> Okay, take one semi over there. Well, there's an unload to... bin right there, so... We technically don't own that farm. No, but, you know, we can't really buy it either, so... <laughs> I mean, you can haul it to our site that we bought. I mean, if you want. Might as well. Otherwise, what's the point of buying it, except for a good, like, unloading spot? Well, it'll make great demand a lot better. Well, I better turn my combine screen on. Uh, turn off. Well, must have to have a LMB activate GT. I'm running, uh... 20, 21, almost 22 engine RPM, 20, 2200, fuel 12,000, or 1,284. I'm at 858. I got zero hectares worked. Still smells like a new combo. Well, this would be like a, a lease, a demo. This would be like... Look at all this corn. <coughs> beans. These beans will do good compared to last time. 11 was terrible. <laughs> so I need to go back and, once we're done with this, change the bank. And then we were at like 70, we were at like 54,000, 2,000 a day. Drop like, so we should be at like 42,000, not negative 450. <laughs> <laughs> Land lease went up. Jesus. Um, 20,000 a day. God damn. It's only 100 acres. <laughs> I'd say load GPS one and 
run it north and south on the short rows. I think what we should do is start down here, do this headland, go up along the 35 border, and then do another headland and then work our way from 35 back to the road. So if we open up down here, we'll go around, do like a C, and then work our way back. Yeah, but you're going to run it north and south, right? I'm going to run it east to west, like how we were spraying. Oh, that's, that is a long ass head. Okay, so, flip 90. So you just set it up and I'll... I just loaded course one was all I ever did. Hey, hold on. I can get my camera. So we can... I see the interior through my camera. So you're going south, right? Oh, shit. Oh, we're going. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Freaking things in the ground again. Shift H. Oh, really? There we go. Turn the beacons off. These are some massive heads for this little combine. Dude, it's a <laughs> CR 990s. The 500 <laughs> some out of horsepower cop. It's like if we had 1090s. Oh yeah, these are a lot better beans because I'm already at 1100. <laughs> this is why I think we should run them north and south. Oh no. Well, Michael just. You can, Michael just have fun chasing us. You can do whatever you want. Oh, we'll run it east for what? That means I could sit back and relax. Quit sliding. Who are you it's talking on, to? Uh, it's on auto when the combine wants to slide because it doesn't. It must be the header, because I think the headers might be different. Because these are old headers that we did way back when. You don't think you added all the texture stuff? No, I think I'd probably like mess with the attacher joint. Oh. Well, yeah, for some reason it doesn't want to fit very well. Oh, we'll get by. Oh, that's right. I should reset this line. There you go, Joe. Re add one. Yeah, because this draper doesn't lift nearly as high as the in game one. Oh. So I must have. Uh, Either they changed something with all the patches, because this is like a eight, nine month old header. One well, of the first ones that ever came out. We used this one when we, when we first started playing. So you're in one? Yeah. Oh, it's quiet in this cab. Oh, I got my sound off. We probably should have started on the other side so we can unload. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't use the McDonald's. Probably should have been... Probably should have. Well, get this one 
down after the two hours of rent time, then we can go back to the Mac down. Or I'll just fix it in the XML and... Be update quick. For like tomorrow or something. Yeah, oh, come on. Left shift H, lift the cutter up, left shift J. There we go. Lift the cutter up to about 29. It'll work better. It was really slow. Yeah, we're gonna make bank on this field. Oh, I'm gonna readjust the header for this side of the field since it's straight. Okay, reload. Operators having fun now. He's got to chase us from the north. <laughs> Mike, if you want to wait on the other side of 16, we can make it over there. No, Jake. I want there, you please. to. I want you to go around and then do the headland to the road and then come back. I'm gonna just take this path back and then he can unload me, so he can come and meet me up here. I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way up to the road. Well, it might. It'll be close. And then pick like a couple rows over and just make a square or a rectangle and we'll just shorten them up like we used to. I mean, you I mean, can go north-south, but... Well, uh, going east and west might actually go quicker because... I mean, it's not not like we're doing corn. <laughs> no. You know. But I think we're going to make pretty good hayway off this field. Because Mike's going to have to catch me when I get to the corner. So, Mike, if you want to pass the Joe. Get hauling butt. Oh, I am. <laughs> Watch him go flying by Joe and have a glitch moment right into the header. <laughs> well, oh, our nutrients one. aren't that bad. We have 42% moisture, uh, 7 and 2 over here. Yeah, about what I am here. So, yeah. I mean, we're away, We're just a little ways away from being ideal. But we're probably still going to be pulling in 80 bu or, uh, 65 bushel beans. You could probably change the XML, but my head's running just fine once I manually upped it. Yeah, it's but I mean, it it is kind of riding a little low. But right now, yeah, I I have it up to like four or something. Oh, well, I had it up to point two nine. Oh yeah, you're at eighty six. Oh yeah. That's 71. I'm gonna back up here. Got a strip for Mike to drive in.
perfect right before the beans. I don't think, yeah. I think I can yeah. do the headline and you can just work your way back. Where are you at? Thirty-five. Yeah, but what's he at for? Eighty-five. Damn, nigga. Yeah, you got to get a Back up, Mike. Or go catch Joe. Earn, Jesus Christ. Lift it all the way up, dude. I'm at like point five. So lift it up. Like, actually, lift it up. I am trying to make a corner. Should be able to turn with that on the ground. Ah, a little sass. Worst time I've ever had with bean head. Yeah, there's definitely something not right with the header. <laughs> Works fine going straight. Should have just rented the in game header. And the back down. Well, that ain't a 45 footer. No, that's that's not even forty. I don't think. Well, if you're fixing the XML on this, fix the XML on Raphael's cart. Cart. <laughs> that way we have the bean unload texture. I'm pretty sure it's Kinsey doesn't have the unload texture. As a matter of fact, I think your is the only one with the bean on low texture. You were at 85, so if I get over 15% before the end of the row, you would have made it. Hey Mike, make sure you stop to the probe over here at the bin site. He's gotta go okay. all he's gotta go all the way back down to our farm. We don't own that. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm just gonna oh. use your massive grain facilities. <laughs> Where's the taste when we need a drive truck? <laughs> we gotta unload into the other combine and the combine unloads into the grain cart and the grain cart unloads into the truck. <laughs> All at the same time. I do like the look of these New Holland combines. Do you have a full card already? Well oh, enough. <laughs> if we get anything bigger than a 12 real head, he's going to need a bigger card. 76%. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, the truck can load 54,000 liters. Oops, I forgot how the chop shot goes wherever you go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's being stuff. There's being chief on the highway. Screw it. <laughs> we were loading corn on the highway today. Joe can make the island cut because I ain't gonna make it before I get full. Heck, it ain't gonna take us very long to combine this way. Mm. 
No. Kill Mike. No big deal. Run over him? I wish it would rain longer, you know? Than three hours, yeah. Or like more than one hour. Or if like you could spray like multiple times and it would like compile on one another, because right now you can only spray once per growth cycle, so. It's like, okay, you spray once and then it's pure sun for the next five days like it doesn't even pay to spray until you can see a new updated calendar biker girl Check. This mic didn't get kicked from the server. No, I just got, I hit the wrong button on my, yeah. Oh, it's not even leaving any chop straw in this passing mic. Did you turn it on? No. Uh -huh. Guessing three trucks out of this field. I was hoping for like ten. <laughs> Maybe if it was corn. Mike, do you see any chop straw behind me? Yeah. What the hell? Bloody hell. Well, you could probably take their GPS line and offset it. Yeah, yeah. Gotta be really close with these big drapers. You can kick your spot out too, so. I did. That's all the way out though. Just as long as Mike don't run over the head, we're good. <laughs> I think corn will be fun. Two twelve row heads. I think we should do more alfalfa because <laughs> that's easier to maintain and more profitable, you know. Yeah, but it's nice mixing it up. Can, canola. I think canola will yield about a little bit better than this, actually. Oh, there's no way in possible real life canola will be better than beans. I can't remember what it's spec that. The yield for canola was a lot worse than beans unless you changed it. Oh, so maybe not. I can't canola remember. one of the least yielding crops that's at the highest price. Yeah, I know. Black is like that too. Black actually yields less than canola. I like that black trailer on that silver truck.
Nice combo, Bill. We got a blue baller over here coming. Oh, yeah, he's hauling. Imagine him with a kitty on that 1596 Raphael's making. Oh. Kitty would pull that no problem. Can't wait for that 1596 wheel. Thing looks beast. It does look no. nice. You know how I know you're rich? You have an auto tarp on your green cart. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> What can we waste money on today? <laughs> Wait, Wait an auto <laughs> like all I have to do is push a button now? I want it. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> How much is that? Like 2200 2500 1500 uh, Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Electric hopper openers for trailers, 3000 <laughs> the only reason I know is they want to buy one for my truck. <laughs> I'm guessing Jake bitched long enough to like, oh my god. I actually enjoy cranking on my end. What do we have to do to shut him up? <laughs> buy me a brand new aluminum Wilson. $42,000. But the Wilson Super D that I can work out about 20. Yeah, I wanted a set of doubles, but they said no. <laughs> I wanted a set of triple axle Wilson doubles. Nope. I'll pull you, Mike. You want to be full, full? Yeah, I might as well fill the cart, or fill the truck. <laughs> my yield, my heck, my Hector thing isn't working. You need to slow down a little bit so we get the front of the cart. I know. Does your Hector counter work on your monitor? Where's that? It's the top one, should be right by area. No. Mine's zero, zero. I can't even read this. I saw in the patch that they said they fixed something for like, the Hector monitor or whatever. Gonna top me off? Gonna top me off? I got 2600. <laughs> Sure, why not? I'll service your load. <laughs> <laughs> service me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we always used to do it. Well, he's not even at 90% in that car. He's already got half a load in the truck. Well, now he's going to have a full load. I know, he should have brought both trailers over. Yeah. Whatever, he can haul ass. It's not that far. No. It's not like he has to worry about the train anymore. <laughs> you know, no, where's, where's if, if you go all the way to the south, if you take this road to the south, there's a little dump road there on the other side of 34. That will bring you all the way up to the road. Or you can go in between... 15 and 29. Okay. It's like the same distance, but. Or just cut across the dead field, who cares? Yeah, that field is totally smoked. <laughs> what did you guys do last night? Combine some beans.
going to your page and just seeing all the bugs. You release your map? Can I join your server? No, no, and no. Thirty ten twenty four. Jesus. You will cut another headland off? Yeah, he's over there in left field. Jesus, I didn't even finish this one. Back up. Come service me. <laughs> Where's Jake? Better finish what we had here till you decided to cut a new one. I don't even see you on my map. Because I'm in the other spot where the other two rows are south of <laughs> Nope, Joe goes up, cuts a new one. Are you talking in the first monitor or the monitor up in the top window? Top window. Right above the speed. Um, got a 32.7. So maybe it's just rented equipment that doesn't really work. You're really bad at combining in a pair. <laughs> <laughs> I was just expecting you to finish up that little sliver. Yeah, but at least me and Doong fucking helped you out when you were running cart. Now you're making Mike run around the bean field because there's two rows of beans in between us. I'll hop, I'll hop over there then. <laughs> Unless you want him, Mike, run through the beams. Joe can't get mad. <laughs> he's, uh... Oh, he's almost there. <laughs> I hate course play. Why? Because it drives through the beams. Yeah, because course play is an idiot. <laughs> Dude, course play is a legit stupid. <laughs> but, I mean, compared to alternative, it works pretty good. Yeah. If you had to do everything by yourself, that would get old real fast. Well, yeah, at least you can get stuff done. Too bad it isn't showing the glance, like what lane you're on, like the other person is on the GPS. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Mike's got another about 7,000 for me before I'm full. But I don't know if the acres are right because it's still at 32.7. It's hectares. Yeah, but you think it would have went up. Yeah. RPM's working, tank volume's working. <laughs> Are you going to the very south strip? No, I'm going right alongside the one you were. Okay. And then we can just finish that little, there's like two lanes in that strip, right? Yep, then there should be two lanes in this one. So it all works out.
Jake, you're gonna have a fun time ripping this five and a half meters at a time. No, all you said after this fire was we get a kitty and a 2720. Did you get that in writing? <laughs> <laughs> we have $2.3 million in debt and apparently negative 450000 in the bank. <laughs> we're not getting kitty anytime soon. <laughs> I hear you were writing a third one. Uh, we need three guys to help out, and <sighs> you know, I could have probably been nice and dumped in the cart while I was there, but screw it. <laughs> <laughs> screw it. Yeah, I didn't put it there for a reason or anything. <laughs> got he's learning. Now. He's learning the green card job sucks. <laughs> Uh, Crap. <laughs> I think I did pretty good back in the day when I was running car. I was always waiting on a truck. <laughs> That's because tree was sleeping in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Just... MIA. Well, oh, beacons come on at 75. We're only at like 89. 85. Maybe Joe will be nice and dump in the cart, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike! <laughs> Am I gonna have to hit the brakes? My nice like fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety two. Ninety three. That's called That's efficiency. Just... No problem. Yeah, I'll let him take a little out of me and then come to you. I think he's on it. Oh, I'd probably take my beak. Yeah. yeah. I'll leave him on it. Whoa! Glitch. <laughs> Good thing of the Vena is a rental. <laughs> I'm glad he got that on stream and it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that lag oh, right as well. I was oh, waiting for that. That's that <laughs> last percentage that really did it. Where's that mic you're fired? Whatever, it's... Good. It's only a ninety thousand dollar header and I don't know, like a three hundred thousand dollar tractor, so you know, it's, it's only a, it's money. A, it's a rental. <laughs> we, we got the insurance on this, right? Thanks. So. We'll just give him an IOU. I owe you a new head. You're recording this too? E maybe. <laughs> oh <sir. laughs> Whatever, it's Wind Chaser Crew. What can you expect? Oh my! <laughs> you need a bigger cart. <laughs> Somebody didn't put the drip avalanches in here. <laughs> I don't know why I'm lagging all the time. Oh, I'm running 50 to 60. I'm from once yeah, not I'm anywhere late. from. I'm up from 140 to 170 to 140 to 70. I gotta get a new router. I thought maybe it was the Canadian internet. I, I reset my, my uh, router and now it's like flawless. I'm at 65 milliseconds. Yeah. And I'm about 50 to 65. Earlier it was like the same same milliseconds, but my thing was always lagging. I don't know what it was.
it. And then I like did the diagnostic thing on my router. And well, good thing for Mike, I have to lift up and go to the other side because I'm at 97. <laughs> You're at 99. 99. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> You can stay on that line. Oh crap. Yeah, there we go. I'm just picking up the tail end of this. We're covering some decent ground. Don't glitch right when I'm pulling. You gotta get up here a little bit because I ain't gonna be able to go very far. I'm gonna be full. It glitched on. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Where's the air oh. reel on my Draper? You don't have them on the in-game one. Where's my air reel? Somebody was too poor to buy a Mac Don. He wanted bigger. Well, yeah, we're covering an extra, what, four and a half meters of pass? You gotta throw the slow transport wheels on a Mac Don instead of trailering them. Yeah, oh, that's, oh, it's oh. nice that we don't have to trailer these, so. Cough, cough, uh, Julian, where's that 45 foot draper? <laughs> where's that, man? <laughs> or the 60 <laughs> foot? The 60 foot, oh my you god. You know how ungodly long and gay that auger is gonna look on this combine? <laughs> on what? You're gonna have to lengthen the auger. Oh, Mike's full. Well, can't you put, like, uh, another extension on the extension? You need to buy a bigger <laughs> extension. <laughs> Oh my! I'm full. Now selling for your new Holland. Viagra for your auger. <laughs> I'll raise you 15 feet. 15 feet. <laughs> so you pretty much have to put an extra. what? 6 I foot extension? Oh, we're going to we're gonna run two copper, do sixteen row heads on corn, we're gonna need two carts. Yeah, but you're not you don't need a whole fifteen foot, you just take your fifteen divided by two and give yourself twelve yeah. twelve and a half foot, but oh, yeah, there's already like a decent extent like overhang on this, so I don't really think you need a You need about maybe. another five or six foot. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully Mike can be or you just like turbo turbo up that auger so it spits it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, 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 you put a hose really on it. Swing it out all the way and can't the you just? The yeah, can't you just like put it behind the header and the tractor will come? I've seen I've seen videos of guys barely yeah. stick the auger up and then drive the tractor right up behind the combine to a corn. ALC HFI did it. That's what I would do. I mean, why do you have to swing the auger all the way out? Just tuck you know, that'd be then. awesome if you could actually add the manual adjust auger so, like, if he's under us, we can actually move the auger, like, back and forth in the cart. You can. You can just make cool. it mouse control. That'd be badass. Where's Mike? What are you at? Oh, you're at 50? Yeah, I was going to go make that other cut. Well, we're pretty much getting done with the big sections. So. Yeah, well, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on. Well, it's 1038. I'll probably be on for another half hour. Made pretty decent work of this field. Yeah, I spraying with Mike earlier. I'm like, Jesus, this field is so huge with the Patriot. Felt like it was taking forever. Mike's still not 100% in the cart. <laughs> Come on. Are you to play with Follow Me or what? What's that? Well, he is trying to play with Follow Me. He's trying to get the truck to come alongside him. And there's a cart in front of my... In the bean field. Through you, follow me.
do so. Two. Just go hold, pick the line close to the water. Should be like four or five lanes, I think. Oh, I got it. Just make sure you take the one right to the south of my last one. Hopefully Mike can catch me before I get to the edge. This thing is just gobbling up beans. <laughs> We might get four loads out of here. Four or five. This is truck two? Yeah, I'm showing truck two. Sitting here waiting on a cart operator. Well, we got a train truck all past the cart on load. It's, it's uh, oh, specs. It's only a, yeah, it's only a thousand bushel cart. 100 bushel a minute, mine does, in real life. That's if I open it wide out, so. That one is 4.50 a minute? Or something like that? Whatever, it's on Kinsey. Take one more to the left, Jake, right? Or that's mine? No, you're going to take one to the south of me. Basically, go north, you run out of beans, and take that road. Right. And then we'll just make this one smaller, since we're getting to the end of our short road. That way, you can dump coming through, since... I think he's going to have to follow me around the turn here. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, you can go get them. That should be. There you are. Oh, he's got to stop. <laughs> Who's I unloading there? Oh, he's on the south side. You gotta go all the way around. Oh. Okay. Are we gonna get this field done before we gotta return the heads? <laughs> I think so. Is that uh, T9 a lot better than the T8 for cart? I think so. It's got a lot of power, so I gotta watch on the turn so I don't slide all over the place. Turn, yeah, the turn T sharper. T8 gets thrown around for as big a cart as on it.
Hari. Sending all the wrong buttons there. <laughs> This one was a lot. It's never lagged on me any other night except for the last two days. Yeah, it was lagging for me all like all all night, and then <clears throat> I reset. Actually, the last like couple of nights, and then I w reset my router, and it <clears throat> seems to be doing really well now. Are you coming back up the middle? No, I'm coming to the south. We'll get rid of the long rows before we go through the short. And follow me for the trucks. I did get them over here. Oh. Follow me works better in multiplayer than it does for me in single player. In, in single player, it's like they fly all over the place. I know they constantly. As soon as they get so far behind, they won't keep up with them. They yeah, and they don't, it like follows your path, but doesn't record the speed at which you take turns. Yeah, so, I think there's an update for it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked at it, but yeah, I think I've seen the update. Not sure On what's... FSUK, I think I saw it. Yeah. Or mod, mod host, I can't remember which. I'm not really sure what the updates are, I haven't looked at it yet, but it'd be nice if they yeah. kind of like fixed, if it like recognizes it. The speed at which you're turning, so yeah. I think we can finish up this long section and then call it a day. That's what I was thinking. It's because I gotta get going to bed and stuff, so. It's nice, I only have one patient tomorrow morning, and it's just a little filling I have to do, so. I bet we can get four to five trucks out of here. Probably closer to five. Yeah, I bet there'll be five at least. Are you gonna screw with the attacher tomorrow then when you're done with your patients? Yeah, yeah, I'll probably um, work, like redo the bank, probably look into that follow means, you know, whatever, you know. Make it so we the header actually works with auto light. Yeah, I want to see if because the in-game header acts a lot different than this one does. So maybe there's an update that we don't have since pulled it out. Yeah, I'm saying it's really old. You know, it's like 1.1 patch. So it's the last time it was worked on. <clears throat> Park the two trucks in the field, the cart next to the combine, and then we'd have a nice pick. Boom. 
eventually just get them. Might be able to farm the whole map if we get some bigger utility equipment. And bought three more sprayers. Yeah, it'd definitely take a long time to. Can you imagine farming 19 and 33? Well, just that whole northeast part, you know, thir the whole 30, you know, 30 to 33, yeah, 37, that's... Yeah. 32, all those right north of the dairy farm. That's or the triangle field by the railroad track and the wood factory. You know, even if you're doing 8, 9, 16, 30, there's like just massive amount of land to farm. So do you want the combines on the far side or on this side of the field by the pond? Oh. Actually, take one of those short rooms back and we'll just leave the combines on this side of the field. Yeah, like if you take a long one back, I take a long one, and we both take a short back, and then... Yeah, that's what I figured. That way we'll probably fill up the trucks and... How is it dumping in that big facility now, Mike? Probably better than trying to hit that little auger? That's much it does. The turn out's a little tight, but it's all right. Yeah, I used to make that corner with doubles. And the pup that came with the Wilsons. I was jumping Mike. I don't know, I think the thousand bushel cart works fine. We, we definitely have to be a little bit smarter when they're doing corn. You have to be next to one another. I mean, you did it with the thousand bushel cart in corn, but we were running 12 row heads, too. Yeah, we're going to be running 12 row heads. Yeah, if you were, if you keep right next, right next to each other. Ooh, 59 minutes left. <laughs> Plenty of time. We did everything in an hour already, so... Yeah, it just ain't gonna finish, finish the field. Wait. Hopefully. What's the next purchase gonna be? A combine, or are you just gonna run a combine every harvest for a while? Well, I just bought the header, so, like, your rig is fully owned. Corn header and draper. So and just rent that rig every harvest. And then, yeah, I mean, we can rent another combine, because, I mean... Don't need two yet. No, I mean, if we pick up, probably, like, it really depends on what we're doing. If we plant some more alfalfa. Think of it any... Well, no, don't put 11 alfalfa, because that's a... Well, because I no. mean, if you think about it, it'll probably be like 10 hours worth of harvesting all these fields if they're all kind of like a crop. But, you know, 44, that's, you know, all the other fields are pretty, pretty small, you know, besides 44, which is another Draper field, so. Oh, well, are you going to buy 2 or 26 next or 25? I think you should go 25 as the next field. I've never done 25. 25 and 14, I've never touched. Yeah, those would be decent. If only there was something better to put in 11. The thing's kind of a pain in the butt field. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a cool field. It's cool, I mean... You don't like straight fields, it's a field for you. If you were to till up the uh, north part of 11 and plant it, like... You can do like corn. I like doing it on Draper though, because you can just like cover more ground quicker and you can see what you're doing with a Draper. 
be a good one to put to wheat or barley next year just so you have uh, or oats. There we go. We can put oats in there. Well, there's always a great demand for barley, you know, at Budweiser, so. If you plant a little bit of barley, it's, you'll, you'll always be able to sell it at a good price at Budweiser. Because I swear, it's like every, every week there's a great demand at Budweiser. Yeah, sometimes. well, when we used to do crop farming, we'd hammer corn and beans, and then it seemed like every other crop would come up with a huge, great demand. Yeah, that's why I went with canola, because it was the same herbicide as soybean and corn. And so is wheat and barley a different herbicide, though? Yeah, they... Yeah, you can't use any. No, you can't, so... It's kind of like once you go with one variety, you kind of want to stick with it. You just got to make sure that a you can't... Uh, yeah, otherwise egg. you need to wait for like the herbicide to run out of the field. And I mean, yeah, you can you can plant you know a variety, but you just need to be aware of what you're spraying, you know. Yeah. And it, it, like sometimes like shit happens because you're always trying to like cycle through your sprayer to like refill and you know. Yeah. yeah just the added fun and more realism and get just the hey let's put a field of oats or something but I mean it doesn't really you can do there's really no point to plant oats really no point to plant barley either well barley actually have a great, yeah you have a great demand we've had great demands for oats where the price went up skyrocketed because we were slamming it with corn and beans yeah I mean, as we, like, get more fields, I guess you could plant a little bit more variety, but... I like variety. I think if you had three trucks going, you could probably sell three mil million liters within an hour for a great demand. Depends on how far you got to drive with the great demand. Yeah, so, I mean, like, we can undo... Me and you, we could have done, like... What was the we were doing ourselves at Conagra like 1.8 million? I think yeah, we did in an hour. Yeah, because we were actually going pretty. I thought you only had 800,000 the last time we did this. No, but like previously, like the last time we did it on the other save game, it was. I think I was what? trying to sell 1.8 million liters of corn or something. And yeah. we we did it in just in like with like a minute left. I remember that we were hauling so, balls because you were. I was pushing you into the other side of the pit so I could yeah. get my truck in there. So too. like two trucks did 1.8 million liters in an hour. So I think um, we could do what that would come out to like what 2.7 million liters with three trucks. So I think, I think if, if you're around like two and a half million worth of crop in your bins, I think you're good. Anything more than that, I think you need to diversify more. You know what I'm saying? I think if you buy a third truck, you might as well just keep the gray and black combo. I was going to get that W900 or maybe... Something. I'd stick with the T6s for need to build a, a truck shed, a shed just dedicated, you know, big, long, you could drive through that and through. With a couple, like, six bays in it, that way you have some for each trailer. Yeah, I was thinking more like three bay, like, just a nice long shed that... You can drive in and not, and drive out. Yeah. How do you want a face But that makes me happy that we can go two grow stages without withering. Maybe we can even do a third one, I don't know. 
I wouldn't. But that's that's a whole extra like time for rain. That's a whole extra week for rain. And I mean, if there's rain in the forecast, go for it. But if there's no rain in the forecast, why do it? Yeah. But I mean, there was rain in the forecast, and we just sprayed and didn't really do much. But I think we got an extra boost because we we were at five and one. Now we're at seven and two. So it helps with nutrients quite a bit. Probably gave us an extra 15 bushel. And we were at 29 maybe in this field for moisture. Well, the moisture actually did work on that one. So, I mean, the NPK gave us a boost in nutrients. We're only about 4 shy in PK. And we're about 30% shy in moisture, but Overall, we're doing pretty good compared to where this field started. So it was like what fourteen, yeah, five and they one. Were, yeah, they were all fourteen when we started. And now it's we're harvesting at seven, two, and forty-three. So I guess if you want to haul equipment all the time, W nine hundred in a low boy, but you really wouldn't see a T six pulling a drop deck. Better. No. Bet you can't make the W9 color wool. Uh, you can. Something a little different than white. Oh, I kind of like this silver white color. I'm pretty sure that was Jared that released LMBs. Yeah. Bella. Wouldn't be surprised. I don't know who else had it. Well, we put a decent dent in this field in an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, you might overfill that semi, though. But you can always tarp the cart. Leaving trucks here or what? Or do you want them back? Uh, it depends on what. See uh. where my combine is. Where are you? The truck. You'll see my combine coming back. Over there already. Yeah, I just parked it. I took one of the trucks over to get unloaded. Oh, you're already... Good to go. And Mike can pull this card up. Put the truck right here at an angle. Joe can bring that back in. Don't mind me, I'm just driving through a train. Joe, park yours on the passenger side of mine. Huh? Come forward, Mike. There you go. This is a full, Yo. full load in this trailer. Go parks between you and me in the truck. Be a nice picture. Play that server. Nope. My speedometer is just going AWAC right now. <laughs> I know, mine always does.
Yeah, this full this full trailer is really giving this truck a workout. Have you seen Abel's truck he's making? No. With your T8? Nope. Oh, I'll send it. I'll forward it to you. Thing looks pretty. This canola oh. field. I wonder how what we're gonna get out of this. Not much. You think? Yeah, because I've done canola quite a bit. I did 17 to canola once. It wasn't bad. Oh, I think I remember that. Your three combine extravaganza. Yeah, I was experimenting with course play. I had three combines on the same course. It was working pretty good, actually. Waiting on Joe to get here. Hopefully he can park in the right angle. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> Have it. Dual wheel tractor just looks massive on that car. <laughs> Pretty much the same stuff we run. Except for the grass cutter. Does the T9 come in a road track? I've never seen that. We them. don't have it. Well, it's, it looks similar to, like mine. I forget what size duels are on it, but mine aren't much wider than that. Yeah, you got the floater tires on yours. We got row crops to run the 24 row planter. That is my all-time favorite tractor to run the DB60 with. What? The T9 Duel. It is pretty fun. Oh my god. Leg. <laughs> Into the bin site. <laughs> Off the map, more like it. I don't know what my leg is. I get everything to take a picture. Things Jake does to get that picture. <coughs> You always gotta have a harvest crew picture. Now you need to make now you need to make the fuel truck on a semi. We can fill everything up. What about that old uh, fuel uh, trailer? Uh, are you gonna put new textures on it because it a shitty tech? The Thunder Creek or something? Yeah, Donald's. No, it wasn't his. It was originally a UM, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a unlimited modding, but Donald Coon's the one that edited it. Yeah, no, I want, I'm not talking about the edit, I'm talking about the original. That is... The original is Donald. Farm Boy 16, or whatever. 98. Yeah, he didn't make it, though. We docked that and built it. Hey, that's looking pretty decent, actually. Good. Alright. Scroll on up. I got Mike in the picture. I got Mike. Get out of the way. Alright. 